Um, what are, what are some of the big differences in, in how you've built the the dirty dough model? Yeah, so I, I looked at who who has the highest sales. Well, Crumble has the highest sales. Like in their last, okay. you can go look this up online. Yeah. Um, their FTD it was if I'm remembering correctly one million six hundred eighty seven thousand gross uh, average. for average between one hundred fifteen stores. Pretty um, good. That's crazy, right? Yeah. And, and their highest was three point <laughs> yeah. six million, and Damn. even their lowest. Their lowest out of 115 still did 734,000. It's like, yeah. wait, they're doing something right, right? Like they're killing it. What are they doing? Well, they have great branding, great marketing, but they have these, that they took a normal cookie and they said, we're going to make this giant. Mm. We're going to make it crazy. And I'm going to give you new flavors every week. So you could come here every single week and get a new flavor, right? Mm. And it's not like Crumble invented that model. Other companies have done that, but they brought it to the cookies. Yep. Um and I shouldn't even say they brought it. This other company, Chip, brought it, and then they 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 they, they stole it from Chip. Crum, crumble <laughs> ran with it. Yeah, yeah. Crumble ran with it. So I'm like, well, we need that. And then you look at, well, our cookies a fad, right? We saw the cupcake fad. We saw mm -hmm. the frozen yogurt fad. And I know that me, me being a salesperson, like I build the company to how I, what would I want to buy? Right. Cause I'm going to sell to people who are like me. I'm going to sell how I want to be sold. Yeah. And I want to be sold based on logic and numbers and facts um, and trying to mitigate the risk as much as possible. So it's like, okay, well, how do I do that? Um, I'm not a big emotional seller at all. And it's like, well, Hey, cookies are so fun. And this, and like, I don't, I don't do that. So, well, there is a big opportunity. What's the objection to that? Well, is it a fad? Right. And how do you overcome that? Well, are cookies a fad? No, they're not a fad. Mrs. Field's been around for 40 years. Great American <laughs> Cookies has been around for 40 years. Is $1,687,000 average cookie sales a fad? I think absolutely. I think for sure. Yeah. 